Howdy everyone, I'm a Black Shadow and well, it is uh, welcome to a brand new series but uh, our continuing dive into this rather unusual but oddly fascinating game. It's been not too bad so far. I have high hopes for the sequel. So we take us to 1996 now. This is a year after the original uh, release of the first game, although a year prior to the version that we just played. And I'll delve into the world of 3D. This is the events of the end of the last game, uh, with uh, Dan Burrows having a bad time. It's regretful. We have come a long way in 25 years. The evil the murder of Liv. It is meant to sound like that, I think. No, it sounds crazy, but it looks like they were killed with a giant pair of scissors. I know, right? The Madness. Scissors once again search for prey. It, what? <laughs> what? A trail of terror stretches across Europe. Man, that's some cheesy, like, 90s B-movie about this. Here it is, the Barrows Mansion. We have to go there and look around, but we'll never solve the mystery of Scissor Man. Got to be joking. It's way too dangerous. As long as he's alive, we're not safe anywhere, Doctor. One after another, <gasps> the horrifying murders continue. <gasps> what is going on? <laughs> we'll make it through this game of murder alive. Was that... Tower. Was that a statement? Was that a question? Was it a proposition? I've no idea. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> anyway, so yes, welcome to Clock Tower. Uh, the first one to actually find its release stateside, although this is, this is known in Japan as Clock Tower 2 because it is ultimately the second game. Um, Human Entertainment uh, only outsourced their publishing uh, to um, ASCII uh, for this one, but they still retained most of the um, you know, the development side of things uh, for the game's release. The game just tried to play the opening cinematic again. That was really quick. I didn't get a chance to react. That was still introductions. What the hell, game? Mm, now that's spookier. Um, but yeah, I've been looking forward to this. I know some of you say they think this is one of their favourite games of the series. We shall see about that. Uh, I've updated the graphical art as well on the sides. There. As it turns out it's really hard to find a lot of decent art for this game online. So I've had to kind of like work with what I had available. It wasn't a lot, but uh, I think we needed to change things. We of course have our wonderful ending list. Um, there are two sets of endings now uh, for the two different characters of the game. So we'll be delving into all this as we go. But for the time being, let's just explore what Whatever is about to happen, I don't know. I'm also unsure if the cutscenes of this game are actually skippable. I tried testing this. I have no idea. So this is a year after. I think it's a year after the events of the original game. And um, suffice to say, Jennifer did not take the events of the Barrow's Mansion very well. I think that would be a reasonable summation of, of things, basically. Professor Bart. Professor Bart. What on earth are you doing, Professor? You mustn't hypnotize her like this. Right, She's right. not ready to remember the murders yet. Helen, the clock tower murders are fascinating research material for me. I must know the truth of what happened. That's what's going on here, everyone. She can't take any more of this today, Professor. I'm taking her home. Thank you. All right. But remember one thing, Helen. You may be her guardian, but you are also my assistant. Yes, Professor. Was that a threat? I think so. Rude. All right, so we're taking control of Professor Samuel Barton for the prologue here. Uh, gameplay is still the same as it was. Uh, it is a point-and-click uh, style, although the cursor is a lot more responsive um, in this game than it was in the first one. So that should help us a lot here. We can, of course, uh, look at various items. Pressing the X button here. I know, right? The mass murder with 10 victims in this case. 
How intri intriguing is one word for it. Um, whoa. Okay, so what's happening here is the text is scrolling crazy. I didn't touch that. So what's happening is if there's one, like, section, it just shows it from a it's a next section. But here it gives me a chance to pause and read because it has to scroll down. There's too much for it. So, oh boy, I may not be able to read everything that happens, everyone. I will do what I can, but I offer no promises here. Patients' records are kept here. What's the, what is this? There's a memo stuck between the pages. We found a hint! Yeah! Alright! We'll see what the hint's about later on. Check the medicine cabinet here. I mean, I assume you know what that's about, Barden, right? Now, I don't know, is it a case of, like, can I look again? Because, again, like the original game, you had to sometimes check things more than once. But I don't know if that's going to be the case here. We shall see. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that? I... <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be a wacky, uh, wacky adventure there, bro. My goodness, me. that was that was out of left field. Just, just a little bit, just a little bit there. What the hell, man? I got nothing. Anyway, so we did pick up um, a hint there. I do not know how we look at said hints. I'm still trying to work out all of the controls here. Um, it's it's a little tricky. Um, I don't know how to look that up. I would like to know. Well, I've had a quick look around just to try different controls. I can't seem to find anything particular. So I guess we'll just move on for now and maybe it'll become apparent uh, what we can do. But, you know, we've got it. Whatever the hell it is. Can we look at the, uh... There's a lot of, like, very strong, like, pinging to, like, the key items and objects. Which is good to know, I guess. I know. Nothing suspicious about that, eh, Barton? Let's get out of here. Man, this is so 90s. Our lab. Been doing mostly criminal psychology research. Lovely bear up there. Well, that's... You know, what you pay them for, right? Or am I the crazy one? Might just be me. Look at all these links here. A statue. It is cold. One of the items found at the scene of the clock tower murders. This is why I went and did the second ending for the second run through the original Clock Tower game because I was aware that this is very important. We've got whoever you are. This is Beth. Helen left a few minutes ago and she looked really angry. Mm. I wonder why. Lovely bear here. Don't know where he's looking. Hey, don't diss the bear. Howdy. Man, look at that sweater, man. Good grief. Bro, Scissor Man's rubber mask. A kind sold in cheap novelty shops. It seems to be fairly... Yes, let's all celebrate a murderer. Now I know it's the 90s. Professor, a newspaper reporter is here. Oh, really? Um... Not that I'm aware of. How's his desk? Clipped out articles of the Clock Town story are scattered about. Hmm. We'll have to see. Alright, well. Let's have a chat with this reporter, I guess. Oh. Okay. Um, so, okay, that's interesting. So I guess there's only... That's interesting, no? Okay. So there'll be certain situations where you have to do something, I guess. Oh, here's Helen's desk, by the way. Can I... You know, 
look at it or anything. No, no, pardon. Don't do this. Oh, by look at the shadows, by the way, on the ground. I don't know if you can tell, but it's all like squares and rectangles. You can see there's like the joint in the elbow there, the shadow. That is, um, that is pretty awesome. the statue again no. I don't know by the way if I had an artifact like that from um, from you know a murder I don't know if I just keep it on the desk that seems like a terrible terrible idea oh Beth can talk some more okay then well that's good you know that's what Jennifer needs you know she said she said it rough. She's only like 15 or something. Yes, I guess. I mustn't let their personal feelings get in the way. Man, this, this, this is a bit dated, isn't it? But hey. Brutal. Brutal. What the hell, Barden? What's wrong with you, man? See, Beffy is relatable. Barton's just a jerk. I don't know. I've been down there before. On the rough side. Can I get out of here now? Nope. I'm not allowed to leave. What is the secret? Of course it is. Yeah. Sensationalize this with a Z. This is man who really doesn't even exist. I have a bad feeling about this. No, we won't. All right, then. We had to chat a little bit more before we would be allowed to leave, I guess. There we go. We had to have the plot development. So that takes us to... Here. Now, this is obviously very, very... Uh, sim this is basically, you know, like how it was previously, except, of course... Um, Arafik looks, um, you know, looks as it should do. So the controls are still the same. X to move somewhere. I can use triangle to stop um, immediately. Um, and outside of that, we'll have to see. I'm guessing this might be our reporter here. Hello. Oh, maybe not. This is Harris. He's being a reporter looking for you on the first floor. Well, that's nice. Um, well... So the first floor it is, I guess. There is doors here. A lovely elevator. Can't even seem to interact with much stuff here at the moment, so that's fine. There we go. Gotta get a hang on the uh, the controls here. It's a little, little sensitive. All right. So floor one. Man, this is like just. It's amazing how this is, like, at the same time, so ad far advanced of what had happened a year before. And yet, at the same time, it feels so, like, almost, like, slightly regressed. It's just because of, ne of mo modern eyes. We're just so used to seeing things differently now. I'm the one who called you from the Oslo Weekly News. Nolan Campbell. And this is Tim, the cameraman. Howdy. What do you want? All right, looks like we got to uh, have a chat with them. What's he? Is that like one of those like imaginary cameras? <laughs> well, at least give him a camera to hold. Come on, guys. Have you been able to figure out who the murderer is? Question I seem to get asked by a daily basis. Because the victim's testimony lacks credibility. She was there! Wow. Yep, yeah, that's Jennifer Simpson. Yeah, what about her? It's just that we saw her leaving a few minutes ago. And since we'd run into her, we asked her for an interview, but she... Good on you, Jennifer. Good call. Continue chatting away, I guess. Yes. 
that monster she was talking about, the Scissor Man, <clears throat> and whether she, he, and whether he really exists or not. That's kind of the premise of everything. I'm sure. Because the existence of the Scissor Man has become a symbol of terror among youngsters. It's a weird one, this situation. It's like, we obviously had some voice acting in, like, the CGs. And it's like, I kind of want more of that. But then I listen to the CG voice acting, and I'm like, <laughs> I don't know if I want any more of that. Might lose its charm. Alright, let's start from the end, because that's intelligent. It's fact that there was a murderer who used a giant pair of scissors as his murder weapon. Okay, that's good to know. But that doesn't make him into an immortal monster. We're just dealing with some odd screw. Of course, it's always a madman. She was scared. She thought she saw something. Interview's over. We're done here. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, they got something, I guess. But not as much as they don't like, definitely not. Yeah, Barton's just like... <sighs> oh, really? Wait. You mean another survivor of the Clock Tower murders? Uh oh. Um. Pardon? Pardon? I I I don't think you should be. Um. I'm gonna suggest you might want to consider maybe closing up shop for the day. You know, taking an early break, all that sort of stuff. You know, give everyone the afternoon off. I. Harris. Oh, God. Apparently, he's waiting in the therapy room. Yes, send help. Dial 911. <laughs> Oh no, don't tell me I've got to take the figure in with me as well. This is a terrible idea. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Professor Sullivan, the head librarian at the Metropolitan Library. There's an old butler at the barracks. Look at all these people coming out. Someone called Rick. I'll show it to him first to see if he knows anything. <laughs> now, there are multiple endings to this game, and I am aware that they are largely dependent on what decisions you make. Now, being naive and innocent as we are at this moment in time, I'm just going to say sure. Yeah, we got to delegate here. This is authority. This is how you captain a team, everyone. Does that make you uncomfortable? It should. Okay, good. You take care there, thou buddy. You, um, if you hear any kind of suspicious metallic sounds, I would walk faster. Probably drop the statue and then book it. Hello? Can I help? 
How do you do? This is Kay. An instructor at the Granite Orphanage. Edward's Guardian. Oh, okay. All right, then. You can just call him boy. Or what? <laughs> that worked in Professor Layton. Anyways. So this is Edward. Okay. This is our first day. Will you answer some simple questions for me? Now, I want you to honestly tell me everything you remember... <laughs> Hold on a second here, Barton. You said simple. I thought you meant, like, what's two plus two? How many fingers am I holding up? Just, just you know, the casual recounting of the murders that you witnessed in gruesome detail. As you do. I am suspicious at Professor Barton's methods here. Let's get started. And that is the prologue for the game. Okay, then. We shall make a save. We have a memory card that I've now emptied space on, so I should be able to save on. Hopefully. Thank you. Definitely appreciate the much improved kind of like menu interface. Feels a lot, a lot better. And so it should. Uh, right. So I guess this is us playing. This is us as Helen by the looks of it. That's too bad. Lost all of this morning's data. Hmm. Oh no, not the dissertation. That'd be terrible. When Danny gets back, I'm sure he'll be able to help you. Of course. You're probably right. I assume that's Harris. Meantime, I'm going to step out for a bit. Ah, you take care, Beth. Don't do anything uh, I wouldn't do. Whoa. What is this? Oh, my God. I've got, I've got an overworld. My Lord. All right, looks like we're actually going to be exploring around everyone. We've actually got a, a, an overworld to explore. I guess this is cool and I appreciate this, but I was I was not expecting this. Okay, so we got the police station, the newspapers, uh, we got a hotel, there's the library, uh, the research building, which I assume is where we're at, as well as the staff housing. Okay, so I'm gonna have to think about this. I wasn't expecting this at all, everyone. Um, so I think that would do for an opening for our prologue here. Well, thank you all for watching us for always. Ha! Huh. It's very clear that this game is like, okay, our first game was in a house. Now we want to expand the scope. We've got to go bigger and bolder and all that lovely stuff. Huh. Well, I mean, we were, we did hear from Barton about like the library and like the suburbs and bits and pieces. Um, I mean, if we're researching about the uh, Clock Tower murders... Library seems a good place to start to me. So I'll thank you all for watching. And I suppose I'll see you all next time. Take care.